so hey guys welcome back um i am just about to get ready to prepare for my nails for next week um so i've been trying to do this thing where i like meal prep my meals for like up to wednesday from monday to wednesday so that i'm just not having to cook every day because since we are in the house a lot i am cooking more um breakfast lunch and dinner um but since i mean i like prepare my meals for babe when he goes to work and then i just kind of figure out whatever um i'm trying to adjust you guys and then i just try to you know eat whatever i can around the house that's either like leftovers or anything like that but before i go to the grocery store i wanted to get a better sense of what i already have because honestly we could go to the store and just keep buying and buying stuff but I just kind of want to make sure that I'm getting good use of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and shop my cabinets. So this is something that I've been trying to get into doing more. And it was so funny because as soon as my cabinets were empty, that's when they announced the national emergency. So I was like, oh my God. So I like ran around and then I was just trying to scramble and get food. So I just ended up buying everything and anything so um let me show you guys my cabinets they're not the best organized but whatever um it is what it is so right now i have i don't know why i have two peanut butters and i don't really eat peanut butter a lot but this one is almost empty but anyway um so it looks like i have some sesame seed oil some honey good because that other honey was running low um, I have some rotels, I have some pineapple slices, pineapple chunks, um, I have more rotel, I have peas and beans and French, uh, what is that, French sliced, okay, so I know that I can use that, so, um, on Sunday I'm going to make rice with this um green beans and the korean barbecue i think that i showed you in yesterday's video so that's going to be that meal um and then i noticed that i have some macaroni and i'm really short so let me go ahead and get my step stool so that i can get in these cabinets accurately um yeah every house that i live in i have to have a step stool but anyway so i'm noticing that i have some um fish fry so i if i want i can have fish i can have some couscous as a side um the couscous is more of like the carb or the starch in your meal so um i have some air fryer pork okay so that's cool because i have some um pork chops that I bought so then I have some crouton and salad stuff babe always takes the salad for work just because those are more simple and all that good stuff so um some tortilla strips so I have some breadcrumbs some plain ones and then I have more plain ones and then oh my god back here I have some more plain ones that's some cake mix babe wanted this jello but he uh i guess forgot about it okay so that's more pineapple chunks i don't know why we got so many pineapple chunks y'all but that's fine that's fine it'll work okay so then okay so i have a lot of plain breadcrumbs which is fine because i wanted to make meatloaf so now i know like what i have in here so that i'm able to create meals around what i have um so up here um i found some fresh mushroom so we could either have spaghetti or we can have parmesan crusted chicken um and then so in here i have the diced chilies and then i have some spanish rice so maybe we can have some tacos this week but i don't necessarily need to prep the tacos um this is tomato sauce tomato sauce green chilies um so yeah we're just kind of 
getting organized here trying to see what I have um, I have some evaporated milk and that's what I use for um, my macaroni and cheese I've been dying for some and then so this is cornstarch not really sure why I bought that and then I have some pink salmon some sriracha it doesn't fit up there um, so then I have some cornmeal from when I made dressing but I'm not really gonna make any dressing right now um, yeah so it looks like I have rice like I said earlier I can make a meal out of that I have this macaroni and cheese that I like that brand but I haven't made any yet and then I have spaghetti and fettuccine noodles so um, let's just go ahead and go to the back Oh, and then I have more stuff right here. Uh, not too much, though. I have lasagna, so I can make lasagna. I can make, like, a turkey lasagna if I wanted to using the spaghetti noodles. I mean, simple. I don't know. Um, we can get that together. Okay, so, also, I'm just getting the freezer bags out the way for you guys. Um, okay so up there I have some bushes baked beans that I can see I have some more um, carnation milk that I bought for last time and then I bought this big box of <laughs> freaking gallus storage bags when I was at the Target last okay so these are green beans this is enchilada sauce so I can make some enchiladas I have some sliced what is this peaches Ooh -wee. okay so I've been wanting some um, peach cobbler and I have some dough in the refrigerator too so I could probably make peach cobbler this weekend for babe um, then those are just pickles okay and I have some more diced chilies and I keep these on lock because I love these and they're good in different meals just if you want to bring out the flavor so then I have some more green beans right there um so I have the salsa it looks like for the meatloaf I have some cheese I know in the refrigerator and then I have the elbow noodles so that's good um yeah, so then I have some peas, and I'm going to need these for the gravy. Um, I use these for my my gravy, um, just to add like a little bit of flavor. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut the light on. And then, so I'm just doing this because, I mean, during this time, if I don't have to go out, I don't want to go out. I mean, especially with everything that's going on. I do have a baby so I'm just trying to like keep her as safe as possible so if mama doesn't have to go out I won't go out um so I'm noticing that I have some chicken breast now with chicken breast you can use this for the lasagna I talked about I can use this for the parmesan the parmesan crust of chicken I talked about I can make a chicken alfredo because I thought that I saw some alfredo yes so i did see some alfredo pasta and you can use it to make chicken tacos i mean you can use chicken for a lot of different things and that's just off the top of my head bro off the dome okay okay so um don't worry about that These are good. Uh, this is like stuff that i normally eat for lunch it's just like chicken nuggets or if i'm feeling a little healthier i'll have something else um, so then I have turkey. Um, so with turkey, you can use it to make tacos. You can use it for the lasagna. You can use it for the enchiladas. Um, I can make like hamburger patties. Um, I can make hamburger. What do they call it? I forgot. It has an actual name, but it's basically the hamburger in the gravy. And that's really good. Um, I know that I have some salmon in the refrigerator so I can use that and make it with some more rice um, or I have some potatoes and then I can make mashed potatoes um, 
with green beans or green peas or broccoli so um i'm just trying to get a sense of what i have because i don't I feel like I might need to get like a few things, but I just know me and I know that I'm gonna keep going to the store buying the same things for the same meals. So, um, I wanna try one new meal this week, but I have to go on Pinterest and see what it is. I kinda wanna do a freezer, um, no, not a freezer, but a crock pot meal. So, um, I have some shrimp in here so I can make bang bang shrimp i can make shrimp tacos i can make mm, <sighs> that's a lot of things that i can make with the shrimp so yeah i might plan for something with the shrimp today and then i have um my chicken in the bag so i can make like baked chicken or anything like that and i have some more korean um korean meat i love that meat it's really good Oh, and then last week at the store too, I bought some steak. I have hot dogs in here. Like I have food, right, for days. It's just me and my husband. But um, a while ago, I found a deep freezer for like $80 at Target, so I had to have it. Uh, mainly it was supposed to be for milk storage, but I'm exclusively pumping, so I don't even use the milk like that. Um, um, let me see. So I know that I have a steak in here so maybe on one day this week I can make it or we could put it in the grill next weekend um, so I cook a lot but mostly I save like my big meals for the weekend when I have a lot more time to like work on them because I do like to cook I guess um, growing up I was more of a baker but now that I'm kind of forced to cook I've been enjoying it more um for my family I mean and it's just healthier um at the end of the day if you guys aren't eating out a lot because they use a lot of sodium in all this food and a lot of extra sugar and I'm just able to control more of what my husband and I are eating and what I'm actually giving to Amari so um I'm looking to see so I mean and then it's just like you forget what you have and then it goes to the you know you pick up stuff from the top and you never get to what's older at the bottom so I just kind of try to once every other week I just come in here and see what I have oh yeah so babe has some oxtails in here too so those can be a priority over the ox um beef short ribs because they've been in here longer um or i could just make both who cares <laughs> uh, i can make both and then so in here i also have some southern style okra and then i can bread this but i also have some that are um breaded already and then so these are good in the air fryer so if you like okra from like churches or anywhere they have some that are already breaded and then you just take it and put it in the air fryer spray the pan spray the okra and then they're bomb like they're so good i'm gonna leave one out so we can cook one this week i didn't really show you guys a lot in detail but i just have like i have one that's already open so i don't need that one so see like i have sliced peaches in here and in there um my El Pato, that's a staple in my house. Um, my Alfredo sauce, so that could be a meal. And then I could use my chunky onion mushroom, spaghetti sauce for something. I have more carnation milk. I have a stir fry, I have Rotel. So definitely making a Mexican meal this week. Um, sure. Peas, soy sauce, La Victoria. Um, yeah. So I know that I can make like some gravy meals. I can make some tacos. I can make some pastas. Which, if I do pasta, that's definitely gonna last us two days. Um, I see some Russian dressing up there. Some cake flour. Um, so yeah. 
So this is just how you shop your kitchen to make sure that you're not just keep buying the same groceries because I mean, if we're honest with ourselves, we pretty much buy the same groceries. Um, I mean, cook the same meals. So I don't want to just keep buying the same things when I go to the store like, oh, I need some of this and I don't and I don't, but I don't know what I have at the house. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of paper and then I'm going to show you guys how I meal prep and then how I'm going to determine my meals for when I go to the grocery store. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you guys this. This is new to me and you guys. So this is just something that I am personally going to be incorporating on my channel. I haven't seen anybody shop their cabinets. I do see people shopping a lot at the stores but I don't really need anything at the store, so this is just a different grocery haul, okay? Okay, so this paper that I have here, I will try to get a, a copy of it, but this is just a grocery shopping list. And so this list is broken down into produce, meat and deli, dairy and frozen, dry and canned goods, and household items and miscellaneous. So this is what it looks like, one more time. okay so if i do decide that i need something from the store then i would use this or not even waste the paper if it's not a lot that i need um so this is what i use to weekly weekly meal plan so if i'm trying to be like super organized and super detailed i'll use this but if not if i just want to get like my dinners down then i'll use this one and this one is just monday through sunday um and I titled it, Let's Chef It Up. Okay, so, um, what I will need, uh, I'm sorry y'all, bear with me, this is my first time. But you know how you have something in your mind to do but you just really don't know the best way to go about it? So this is where you guys come in. If you have any suggestions on what I can do to make this segment better, just let me know, I'm open to, um, suggestions if you guys are being kind if not get off my channel for real but anyway um so i hope you guys don't mind my my glasses they kind of give a, a glare but they're just so cute and they're blue light so they help me with my eyesight okay so um my process is i'm first thinking about the meats because the meats will center around basically what meals i can make so i showed you guys that um i have turkey we haven't had much turkey in the house so i'm thinking that it'd be refreshing for babe to have something with turkey this week because we've had chicken we've had shrimp uh, we haven't had pork um chops um, we haven't had the beef um Korean ribs so that's what I'm gonna write down I'm gonna write down um, turkey and I'll show you guys after I get done the final uh, results so I know that I have turkey um, I have I have pork chops in there and then I have mm, I'll put chicken thighs to be more specific so that I don't think that it's just the chicken parts like the legs um, or the wings you know more meats like that so um, I'm thinking so with turkey you can do a lot of things with turkey you can keep it simple like with just basic tacos you can keep it simple with basic spaghetti you can use it for I mean gosh I can make like I told you guys earlier like the turkey with the gravy you could use turkey for meatloaf um, this is fun because I'm just like trying to process all the things that I know how to make and also if I'm stuck or if I just want something new I can always just go on this app called Pinterest and Pinterest is an app where I get a lot of my or most of my my recipes if I'm not going on Google um, so I don't want to talk too much just because I don't want this video to be too long but this is something that I'm interested in so it's easy to talk about it um, but if I just type in turkey dinner meals or more specifically ground turkey then more will come up and they're like just just different meals um, it's trying to catch my face so you can slide up 
turkey lettuce cups you can use yeah so it just gives you that okay um so with the pork chops i know that i can use mashed potatoes and then i can have broccoli um and then with the chicken thigh meal i can have enchiladas i can have the parmesan crusted chicken And then with the turkey, I could also have um, tacos. And then I can have the um, turkey, burger, gravy meal. So the pork chops would be a one-time thing because I'm not going to eat pork chops more than one time in the week, especially if it's going to be um, air fried. And so I'll try to, I'll do a, I will, I'll do a video for that for you guys when I cook the pork chops with the air fryer um, seasoning because I never tried that. So I'll put record the video. And then, so I'll either do it with mashed potatoes or rice um, because I have been wanting to incorporate more rice. Um, so then with the meatloaf, I can also have it with, um, and then this is just how you plan it out, you know? So even if you don't use it all that time that week, you can plan it for the next week. So every meal um, that you wanna have, it doesn't always have to have a carb but you do want to try to get like a vegetable in you know so um everyone should have a protein a carb and a vegetable and if you don't want the carb you can just add another different type of vegetable or you can just have a, a, a protein and a vegetable and then you'll be fine so just something green like every meal should always have something green so i'm gonna let that get back into focus so I know I need meals from Monday to at least Wednesday or I could just go ahead and plan it out through Sunday. And then some of these meals can either be like an easy night. So maybe I'll make the spaghetti um, or I can make the chicken alfredo or I can make chicken and shrimp alfredo just to use my shrimp. But I'm not so much in a rush to use my shrimp because I love shrimp and I want to make sure that I'm using it for meals that I really will enjoy. So for maybe more like my pad thais or babe likes my bang bang shrimp. So maybe, you know, on the weekend I could use a shrimp meal or if I want to make like a crab boil, um, I could do stuff like that. So it's just so many different ways that you can use your meats. Just um, try to be creative. As a wife, I try to cater to what he likes as well but there are days where i'm just like this is a meal that when i was growing up this is something that i loved and i mean it won't hurt because he doesn't hate it but it's just not his favorite but you know so it's like you'll eat it like you know what i mean just just eat it <laughs> um so i'm still just browsing and i'm not really getting anything that i haven't already had so i see that they have honey garlic turkey meatballs uh that might be okay i'm not too sure about the honey and the garlic though you know what i mean um so yeah so maybe the turkey could be more for my spaghetti my meatloaf my tacos so okay so i'm gonna just i'm gonna not be super detailed this week because lunch is gonna be determined um what leftovers are gonna be for that day so if I know that I'm having a meal that won't last for another meal for one person to have, I'll just try to plan leftovers or give baby salad that day. Um, so I'm going to take my meal. And I know around Thursday and Fridays, those are more of my easy days. So instead of um, doing that, I might wanna make turkey burgers on Friday. And then that way I can have the waffle, use the waffle fries that I have in the kitchen. Uh, so on Friday, this coming Friday, we will have turkey burgers, right? Excuse my 
my brush I was doing my hair okay so that day okay so Friday I know that we'll have turkey burgers with waffle okay so that's one day right that's turkey burgers with waffle fries and so Thursday I would have no Tuesday let's just go ahead and fill that in I'll do taco taco Tuesday and then so Monday since I'm kind of in the groove of already cooking I'll go ahead and do the pork chops um, air fried with the mashed potatoes and broccoli okay so you guys see that so I have the pork chops with mashed potatoes and broccoli and then this will most likely not carry on for a lunch for babe for the next day so I'm going ahead and plan his lunch to be a salad right and then so that'll be not a taco salad because he's gonna already have the tacos um, so then I'll just give him a different kind of salad so I'll have to check my refrigerator and see if I have anything for a salad um, so then Wednesday I will most likely go ahead and make um, cuz I told you Wednesdays and Thursdays are usually my more tired days um, so I will probably end up making uh, the meatloaf okay so we'll have meatloaf with um, peas and no the pork chops I'll do rice and then we'll do mashed potatoes on Wednesday Okay, so the main thing is meatloaf, pork chops, taco Tuesday. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come to you guys just a little later on when my uh, camera charges. It's dying right now. But for Monday, the 27th, I have pork chops with broccoli and rice. And then Taco Tuesday, it'll be Taco Tuesday with um, Spanish rice. So I forgot to write that, so let me write that. Spanish rice. And then Wednesday, it'll be meatloaf with peas and mashed potatoes. And then Thursday, it'll be a turkey burger with um, the little turkey burger meals. I think it's called, um, I forgot. I can't remember. I'll look it up. But it'll be turkey burgers with gravy and rice and green beans on as a side. Um, so on Friday, we'll have actual burgers, but it'll be with turkey with waffle fries as a side. And so um, then I'll have to figure out, okay, so do I have all these sides? Do I need to buy the produce? Do I need to buy the lettuce for the burgers? Do I need to buy pickles or whatever babe wants on his burger? Like, do I have that stuff? So as I'm figuring out my meals, that's how I'm gonna create my plan based off what I don't have in here. Um, so then Saturday we'll have pizza. I know that I have the pizza in there because it's been in there. And then Sunday I'm making macaroni and cheese with steak and yams. And I already know that I have these things because, um, well I might need more yams. Um, because I might use them this Sunday. But next Sunday, um, it'll be, I know that I have everything from my mac and cheese. And I know that I have everything from my steak and my yams. Okay. So, um, my budget for August will be, let's say, around $300 for the month. So, I'm not going to incorporate that into this week, but maybe next week because it'll actually be August. But this is just my meal plan and how I started being able and just holding myself accountable on my spending and holding myself accountable for just what I want to eat and being more prepared because, I mean... Having Amari, you have to be prepared um, 
pretty thing. Okay, so I might have to make this a separate video because I was going to incorporate this into a vlog, but it's kind of long now. So I'll go ahead and see you guys later.